family, there's probably mum and dad and the two kids, and that's it, basically. With a tribal situation or community situation, there's everybody. There's mum and dad's friends, there's probably mum and dad's ex-lovers to help out. Mum and dad gets to become a whole lot of people to the kids. To us it does not belong. Conditioning is so strong. It cuts grooves in our consciousness. Mm. Like, and when we're older, often we have to re-cut new grooves. Just we find the program, you know, doesn't work. So you can't really just wipe it. You've just got to cut a new way. Yeah, yeah, we're in a monogamous relationship now, but that doesn't mean we're going to be there forever. You know, I mean, we enjoy it now, and so we're both satisfied now. So there's no need. For well, that's what I, yeah, I'm in at the moment, and I've made a conscious decision to channel my energy into my family and my partner rather than channel, you know, mm. have it going out to other people. True. Well, we all make mistakes, you know, but we're learning, right? Yeah. Humans have lessons to learn with different people, and sometimes there might be something with another person and that's fine and that's normal for people to feel like that but at the moment we're very content and happy together we both want to do the same things we've both got a family that we very much want to be with yeah, so, so. Yeah. that's uh, you know who keeps your noses the working people yeah well we're trying to produce production well we're doing to take it pretty important here too well to a certain extent it's are i suppose I mean, sure, I'm on the dole, but it's not as though I've never had a job, and it's not as though I don't intend to get one. I'm just unemployed at the moment. I'm a hard worker. <laughs> yeah, you certainly look like it. <laughs> figure, well, it's about time that people should stand up and do something for what they believe in. There's too many people that say, oh, well, I would go, but, you know, I'd rather be off a bar or something surfing at the beach, you know, which is fine if that's what you want to do, but... Um, don't go calling yourself environmentally conscious if you're not prepared to do something about it. Bloody disgusting, aren't they? Yep. Oh, look, don't give us any tricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me all you like, mate. I've got ears. I've got ears. You give me all the tick you like. Come here, Alan. You comfortable up there? Yeah, you better believe it. Well, up here, Al. You know that, are you going to clean all the mud off the machine when you're finished? No, are you going to clean up the planet when you're finished? That's not what I asked you. It's not what I told you. I said, are you or aren't you going to clean the machine up? Well, it's not my fault they're dirty. You created all the lockdowns. All the dirt on your feet over the seat, but they're supposed to sit on it. Yeah, yeah well, you That's created the lockdowns. You must have an education, have you? Yeah, Probably yeah. more than me. Well, why aren't you out working? Just stand right here in the mud. This is the biggest job around, man. Yeah, mate, this is the toughest job. We don't come out here because we like it. We don't sit in the rain because we like it. We sit in the rain out here in the mud because we care about our children and our children's children, mate. We care about the air we breathe and the water we drink. And we think the last we care about the animals. Right, we care about the global gene pool, if you want to get down to that. On you. No more trees to be logged today. <laughs> Wild Cattle Creek is here to stay. <laughs> You're going to get laid off your job. <laughs> Don't worry, we can't shut her up. 99% <laughs> of them would be on the dial, living off us. Parasite. They got their belief, we got our belief, but this, this shouldn't take place. It should be sorted out with, with the authorities. Should they, they shouldn't have to be like this. <laughs> you can see what sort of trash they are. Non-productive. 
absolutely parasite the community. They've set up a blockade of their own, preventing the forest activists from leaving for fresh food and water. <laughs> They're starving us because we can't work, so we'll starve them. I'll go and sort this out. He's not, he's not going anywhere. I want them all here. No one takes over. Where, where, where do you want to go out? Well, are they going to let me back in? No. Why not? Because you're not coming back in. You either go out. We're not here for violence, mate. All I'm saying is we're here to protect our jobs. We're not here to harm anybody. Not so much the same places. If I could walk down the street and present a picture of relative boldness to a lot of people and do that with confidence and showing that yes, it's working for me, I'm happy, it's encouraging. <laughs> tribes are still very embryonic, they're still taking shape. It's like an amorphous mass of, of people moving up and down the east coast of the country. The definition of a feral is born wild, gone tame, come back good, come back wild again. The tribe in Australia, I think, is stronger in Australia than anywhere else in the world. And predominantly New South Wales, far north coast of Australia, and also in far northern Queensland around Karanda, stretches far across the Darwin and then down WA in the southwest corner. And also in Tassie, of course, a lot of communities down there. But then it also stretches to other sort of powerful power places throughout the world, as the States and the UK being, being the two of them. You do find the tribe in, um, in capital cities as well. Predominantly, these people seem to reside around the Byron Shire region. I think there's a lot more lifestyle is actually living by the coast. I'm sure there's an image attached to it all and people's dress always gives away of a personality that you are. But I think it's the lifestyle and the people choosing to live a certain way and they sort of reflect that lifestyle. A lot of colourful clothes, a lot of free thinking or free wearing sort of people. They wear what they want and usually it's colourful and it stands out. Snakes are really important relations of mine and I've accidentally stepped on snakes, ran on snakes, I've picked up live snakes and played with snakes. I've shared my teepee with a copperhead once, it was after the mouses that were under the ground sheet. Well, I'd stay on half one side of the teepee and it'd stay on the other side and when I came home I'd check out to see where it was and when I left it moved in so we sort of time shared the teepee. Really. Well, I, I go walk out and I find my firewood and I pick it up and I carry it home and I might chop it or snap it and and that's my energy bill for heating and cooking. Pay for in a most pleasant way. It takes patience, for sure. It takes settling down and being a bit meditative about life. Setting the candles, it's not as fast as flicking on the light switch. And it takes time. But it's good, it's good time. I'm making light now, it empowers us. We live very simply, and I'm a very busy person. I'm doing my best to bring up my daughter. That's a big job. But now what I'm going to do is 
go outside. She had on the door tag that you put on your door to say do not disturb, but she didn't have a bedroom door to put it on. <laughs> and, you know, if we get fridge stickers, it's a bit tricky because we don't have a fridge. <laughs> I think it takes a lot of sophistication to be able to live simply. Yeah. Or it takes a lot of innocence, one way or the other. Asha's actually sort of proud of her lifestyle. She's happy with it. I think she understands too that it's been good How for many her. times can they do it? Every time they do it, they look more stupid. That's it. What are we? are sitting here asking for an environmental impact study, that's all. If that's worth keeping 200 police up here for two weeks, let them explain that to the electorate. The police are going to get aggressive. We don't know what they've got in their heads. Right, right. And they feel that we're being illegal and that maintains something in their eyes, you know, that we're being illegal. Right. And we might need to completely withdraw and just come back here and sit. You know, right, and make an issue we, just that way. We have to be prepared to change our tactics. All the time, at, at, at any given day, if, if we see them acting in a certain way, we can just turn around our tactics altogether and totally confuse them. Like, like today, they've flown over and noted all our blockades. Now, we could confuse them completely tomorrow if we didn't have the blockades, if we had some other little system going. Now, this is what we've got to think of. We've just got to totally confuse these people. Show. 
去吗？